Well, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Sunday, the 17th of February 2019, ending Friday, the 22nd. We have a short week this week due to the U.S. President's Day bank holiday on Monday. There will be no Forex calls Sunday night. We will resume for the other four days of the week. Here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. Didn't do much this week at all. Uh, back and forth a little bit early and then uh, sat inside that range for the back end of the week. So as we've had this problem for a while now, there's not a lot to say on the charts that uh, leads to trade setups. Uh, Euro dollar, the inverse of the dollar index, of course, doesn't really mean much. Pound uh, didn't do much this week at all. You notice that 13 buy signal back in December was obviously the low. That's about it. Aussie dollar uh, didn't do anything this week. Euro yen didn't even last. This has been so flat now for a month and a half. Pound yen. You know, we need some. We think there's enough going on in the world that would move these things, but just looking at everything here, nothing is moving at all. All right. So in terms of the 30-minute candles for the week, euro dollar high to low is only 100 pips. That is pathetic. I mean, usually average daily range about 120. Can't even trade 100 for the whole week. Pound dollar, uh, 180 here. That's really small as well. We did have a couple winners of the week. We had a couple stopouts, but you know. Can't, it's hard to make progress when the market's not moving and not trading the ranges that we know that it's capable of trading. Even you know, even if you realize you trade 130 pips of range two days in a row, there's a little bit of overlap there. But if you can get 300 pips of range in a week, you should be fine. But when you've only got 120, you know that's just not uh, not cutting it. All right. In terms of the economic data um, that's coming out this week, let me see if I can line this up properly because I didn't do it in advance like I normally do and that should do it right there all right so Sunday we had the uh, Japan core machinery orders in the UK's right move HPI Monday German monthly report we got that US bank holiday no data around the world monetary policy meeting minutes out of Australia Monday night from their last rate announcement uh, going to Tuesday at 2 a.m. Eastern time we got the Swiss trade balance Europe's current account UK's unemployment rate, um, German zoo economic sentiment, and then uh, New Zealand's GDP, GDT price index. Uh, got the NAHB housing market index here in the US. Uh, New Zealand does their PPI number. Australia's got their MI leading index. Trade balance out of Japan. Australia's wage price index. Going into Wednesday, we've got German PPI, UK CBI industrial order expectations. CB leading index out of Australia. Um, got the minutes from the last Fed meeting coming out 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. So at this point, up to this point in the week, really nothing. Uh, Australia's flash services and manufacturing, P manufacturing PMI numbers. Uh, the uh, they're in unemployment numbers. Uh, we're going into Thursday now. Still nothing major. Uh, German final CPI along with France. We got some flash services and manufacturing numbers out of France, Germany, the broad European sector. Canada does their non-farm employment change and wholesale sales. Core durable goods orders out of the U.S. Philly Fed Manufacturing Index and uh, the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers here at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. Uh, then our flash manufacturing and services PMI numbers. CB leading index here, existing home sales here. A lot of data uh, because you've got the Monday holiday. You get both natty gas and crude oil on Thursday instead of crude oil on Wednesday. National Core CPI number out of Japan, credit card spending out of New Zealand. Uh, we've got the German final GDP CPI number out of Europe, retail sales out of Canada on Friday. Um, and then we've got some Fed members speaking, and the Fed monetary policy report comes out potentially on Friday. So really, none of our big numbers to worry about for the week and a short week to begin with. So we will just call it like we usually do and see what happens. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week.